Do you think Steven Silas is playing it right by giving James Harden space? Okay, so this is where we are in basketball in 2020 as the entire paradigm shifted. And we went from a long time ago, the coach worship and the leadership worship to sort of understanding these stars are so powerful that after games, if they've lost, they should make the coach run sprints in his uh, in his <laughs> suit because the guy who matters is the athlete. And all you have to do, whether a guy's mercurial or whether he's uh, just down the middle, just let him be someone who is the star of your team and be his ally there. James Harden is not here for your learning. He is not here for your wisdom. He is not here for your scheming either. He is great at basketball. Whatever they do in order to move forward as an organization has to be to placate James Harden. I know people don't like the sound of that, but that's where they are. He's under contract. He's making a ton of money. You got to keep him happy. Well, James Harden is also not here Literally, he's not going to be on this team in the near future. I mean, this is classic uh, breakup rationale, right? Like in the history of human relationships, anytime any person, man or woman, has said about their partner, <laughs> I'm just giving them space, yeah. you know it's over, right? So for the Rockets at this point, they need to, to use tabloid parlance, win the breakup. They need to get James Harden to literally and figuratively play ball to maximize his value so that when they do trade him, they can get the building blocks for the future because that's where the Rockets are. Nobody thinks this team with Wall and Harden and their current iteration is actually going to win in the playoffs. They are focused on the long term, and that is why Silas is talking this way. Yeah, the next step in this dynamic is Steven Silas saying, you know, James and I love each other. We're just not in love with each other. And we all know that there is just a deep reservoir of helplessness underneath what's happening in Houston. And yes, Mina, what the Rockets are doing is such a complicated dance because by the way, this is a team by some projections that still might be like a top five team in the West, except for the fact that they now have to do a delicate, complicated dance. James Harden needs to demonstrate with seriousness to his employer that he doesn't want to be there anymore. He would like to move on to the next phase of his career. And his employer, look, they're not stupid. They are not naive. They understand that what they need is for a peace to be brokered in the temporary phase so that a larger agreement can be reached. It's a very awkward, complicated dance that absolutely no one on this program can relate to. I, uh, yeah, I was going to say my last <laughs> week has been exactly what he just articulated with so many damn lawyers and James Harden makes so much more money than me. <laughs> so that was going to be really subtle, but thank you for making it. Yes, over, it Dan. stopped being subtle. Really? <laughs> like, I thought that was going to be wonderful, but when, when he does the dismount that way, I'm th I thought he was going to stay subtle, subtle, <laughs> subtle, subtle. And then he just comes out yeah. at the end and hits you over the head with a club. It's Dan! We're talking about Dan! No, Pablo did it before me. No, Pablo did it before me. His dismount was too obvious. Guys. I was trying to do the thing where I look at the camera Jim Halpert style because I'm a subtle performer. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.